Hello, Class here, Hyperlight Drifter. In the last part, we just started exploring the southern area. And yeah. We got to this room. I didn't want to do it because we were running out of time. Oh, turrets. Favorite okay, enemy. That's not true. <laughs> My favorite enemy is in an enemy that I don't like fighting. Well, maybe I can at least make use of their attacks by reflecting them and like boosting my damage against the other enemies. Or if I'm just over here, then they stop shooting because I'm too far away. Alright, that went pretty well. Are there any other things scattered about though that I might be interested in having? Whoa, that's that's a lot. Get wrecked. Secrets. Okay. Well, let's just go. Uh, that's enough of being shot at. So that room didn't take too long. Oh, here's the module. We were right at the end. Oh, but yeah. I can reflect those, but it seems like a bad idea. Oops. That's not in the med syringe button. Can I kill the things that are shooting all those bullets? Yes. Oh, they've got two health each. And more of them are being deployed. Turns out the answer isn't just to run at the boss and keep slashing. <laughs> this time we don't even have to try picking it up. Okay, actually the boss is to the solution is to run at the boss and keep slashing apparently. You just have to start early so that the things get killed as they deploy. Got him! <laughs> I almost wanted to reach down my keyboard and split, because I did a run of all this story early in the week. But yeah, the gimmick of the southern area is that we fight a mid-boss before each module. Here's the real one. It's actually down from us. But we'll need to take. Uh, there'll be an elevator around here, I think. Maybe here. Something. I don't know. There's, there's another path we have to take to get back to this room again that will get us to the other module. For now, we just go up. I can't remember if 
if there was another path after going down this elevator. I, th I think there was. Oh yeah, the, the one module door. We go this way now. Alright, that didn't go well. That's a lot of them. I should have thrown grenades. Got him. Grenades <laughs> almost feel like cheating in that encounter. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can reflect missiles. Let's see if I can. Alright, yeah, that's not too bad. Got him. Just needed to aim my gun. So we can hear- yeah, there's a module right, right there, we can hear it. Oh, I have max kits. Alright, apparently dashing through missiles doesn't work very well sometimes. I probably didn't do it during the shield part. Maybe you just can't shield them. I thought I did shield one earlier, though. Ah, oh, these basic green things. It's, it's like running into Goombas in Bowser's castle or something. Actually, have there ever been Goombas in Bowser's castle? Uh, Bowser in the Sky had some Goombas in Mario 64. Alright. So that's not one of the marked modules, I think. Okay. It, it was really suspicious that they let you walk along that for a bit. So I thought I'd just try dashing to the left. Hey! Free monolith. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe... I know there will be at least one more mid-boss as we collect the modules. Maybe there were only two, though, that I remember fighting. So apparently we've got directions. This looks like a, yeah, a battle will be happening. Did enemies spawn and immediately fall down that hole? Oh, maybe it depends on which order you do the rooms in. There'll be another switch that would have spawned a platform there. So you conditionally fight enemies, maybe? that all kinds of wrong. I 
don't want to fight near the turret. There's a fence in the way. I do want that mech to die. He blew himself up. Wait. Oh, but then when I'm up here, maybe I need to. No, I don't think there's a reason to shoot that switch again. Oh, but now I can shoot that. Maybe. Wow! Did I just fall twice in a row? <sighs> Where are we back to? Start of the room. Okay. Let's find out what's left. Blow the guy's missile in his face, he takes a bunch of damage. Oh, it was just the you should heal popping up. So I guess we got some extra platforms. Sure. So now I could potentially go this way. He <laughs> saved. But, uh, yeah, let's... Let's watch his enemies spawn in the hole again. And then... Redo the whole room. Right, there's nothing to the right there, I don't think. Wait, no, there totally was. There was everything to the right. I just had to walk down a little one. Okay, got him. Ow. Didn't realize the turret was that had actually fired. Okay. We're almost back to where we had been. This wasn't actually as big a room as I could think of. Yeah. I came up here, I grabbed the med kit and module, and then we started messing with those switches that we'd shot. Third module. And there's 
still that door to the left. This definitely looks like a room for battle. <laughs> Not gonna be shooting more missiles down like that. Just like dashing up to those green things is always a mistake. Because then they actually like are more ready to get an attack off by the time you finish your three hit combo. So is that it? Finish the room? Weird. Okay. Pushing the button. Obvious switch path. Why were there there are lights to the left too? Perhaps this room has another entrance. You can hear the um smasher things somewhere. I don't know. It does have another entrance that's just not marked on the map right now. I'm not seeing anything to do here. Oh, hello. That dash is an attack, because it hurt. Alright, this doesn't seem too bad. And we're getting in, like, about 12 damage per second. Oh. Per cycle. Okay. It's moving a little faster. Oops. Dashing in holes is not the ideal way to dodge attacks. Got him. I guess you, you just gotta make sure the boss explodes on you. Or the mid boss. Whatever it is. Probably a module to claim ahead. Yep. We're already up to four. We haven't even taken the other elevator.
So that path is now unlocked. If we want to ever go that way. Oops. Uh, let's see. I believe there was a, like, three-module door somewhere around here. Oh no, it was an arrow door. Okay. So like, sort of, under some, some circumstances, a three module door. As long as after getting three modules, you kill the boss. Start on this elevator. We have a left and we have a right. Let's go left. things were the only enemy that appeared during the tutorial. Speaking of the tutorial, sometimes I need to die during it for an achievement. I nearly did on my first time through the game. I got down to one health. Take a gear bit at the cost of one bullet. I figured I could fire my gun again sooner than I could slash again, so that's why I shot that one. Probably avoided taking a hit that way. Well, I could have also just dashed. I need somewhere to heal. Alright, there we'll do. Oops! Didn't realize how close I was to that container. Oop! Pillar didn't block it. Wait a minute, there's a... Oops! Oh, it's fine. Eh? Oh! I need the railgun out. This isn't the railgun. That's not the correct menu. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, I saw the little square indicating there was a secret. And of course, switch guns back because. I like the handgun. Oh, he tried to three-way shot me at point blank and I reflected all of them. I was like, how did he die in two slashes? Uh... Okay! Wow. Got him. <laughs> I 
have been stuck on the wrong side of barriers before. You just have to back away and reset it. Or you need to kill all enemies. Depending on which side you consider to be the wrong side. One thing that was most bothersome one time though is um, one time an enemy got stuck outside the barriers and I was inside. Nothing up here? Okay. I mean, maybe you'd want to dash up there and heal or something. Yeah. It has purpose just because it's part of a battle room. No, I don't want to open the door. Okay. Oh yeah. I thought this was gonna be Archer Boss. Ow. Be... Apparently we need to dash if we want to launch that. Ow. So uh That's a demonstration of how you get hit by every single attack. Unfortunately, we have max med kits. Or pad. We have max med kit capacity. Alright, got him. about it for things. We're just gonna head back down the elevator. This isn't the right way, is it? Oh, right. Here's the eight module door. And then head right so that we uh, remember that's the way we wanted to go. So I'm just gonna interact with this to get my two health back. on one med kit for next time that is well happens sometimes oh I thought there was gonna be a door right away guess we're slightly running over oh oops ended up in a weird spot I guess <laughs> get wrecked. Oops. Press the shot button like it was dash or something. Oh, nice. There's a good reason to kill that enemy instead of just running out. I was like keeping track of at least which quarter of the world I was getting all these in. Because I bet it's four per quarter. So here we needed a module again. So 
each elevator has a zero module path and a one module path. But anyway, there's the autosave. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Next part, we'll continue exploring down here. See ya!